A solved game is a game whose outcome win, lose or draw can be correctly predicted from any position, assuming that both players play perfectly. This concept is usually applied to abstract strategy games, and especially to games with full information and no element of chance. Solving such a game may use combinatorial game theory and or computer assistance. Overview. A two-player game can be solved on several levels. Ultra weak Prove whether the first player will win, lose or draw from the initial position, given perfect play on both sides. This can be a non-constructive proof possibly involving a strategy-stealing argument that need not actually determine any moves of the perfect play. We provide an algorithm that secures a win for one player, or a draw for either, against any possible moves by the opponent, from the beginning of the game. That is, produce at least one complete ideal game all moves start to end with proof that each move is optimal for the player making it. It does not necessarily mean a computer program using the solution will play optimally against an imperfect opponent. For example, the checkers program Chinook will never turn a drawn position into a losing position since the weak solution of checkers proves that it is a draw, but it might possibly turn a winning position into a drawn position because Chinook does not expect the opponent to play a move that will not win but could possibly lose, and so it does not analyze such moves completely. Strong. Provide an algorithm that can produce perfect moves from any position, even if mistakes have already been made on one or both sides. Despite their name, many game theorists believe that ultra weak proofs are the deepest, most interesting, and valuable. Ultra weak proofs require a scholar to reason about the abstract properties of the game, and show how these properties lead to certain outcomes if perfect play is realized. By contrast, strong proofs often proceed by brute force using a computer to exhaustively search a game tree to figure out what would happen if perfect play were realized. The resulting proof gives an optimal strategy for every possible position on the board. However, these proofs are not as helpful in understanding deeper reasons why some games are solvable as a draw, and other, seemingly very similar games are solvable as a win. Given the rules of any two-person game with a finite number of positions, one can always trivially construct a minimax algorithm that would exhaustively traverse the game tree. However, since for many non-trivial games such an algorithm would require an infeasible amount of time to generate a move in a given position, a game is not considered to be solved weakly or strongly unless the algorithm can be run by existing hardware in a reasonable time. Many algorithms rely on a huge pre-generated database, and are effectively nothing more. As an example of a strong solution, the game of tic-tac-toe is solvable as a draw for both players with perfect play a result even manually determinable by schoolchildren. Games like NIM also admit a rigorous analysis using combinatorial game theory. Whether a game is solved is not necessarily the same as whether it remains interesting for humans to play. Even a strongly solved game can still be interesting if its solution is too complex to be memorized. Conversely, a weakly solved game may lose its attraction if the winning strategy is simple enough to remember, e.g., Maharaja and the Sepoys. An ultra weak solution, e.g., Chomp or Hex on a sufficiently large board, generally does not affect playability. Moreover, even if the game is not solved, it is possible that an algorithm yields a good approximate solution. For instance, an article in Science from January 2015 claims that their heads up limit Texas Hold'em poker bot Cepheus guarantees that a human lifetime of play is not sufficient to establish with statistical significance that its strategy is not an exact solution. Topic: Perfect play. In game theory, perfect play is the behavior or strategy of a player that leads to the best possible outcome for that player regardless of the response by the opponent. Perfect play for a game is known when the game is solved. Based on the rules of a game, every possible final position can be evaluated as a win, loss or draw. By backward reasoning, one can recursively evaluate a non-final position as identical to the position that is one move away and best valued for the player whose move it is. Thus a transition between positions can never result in a better evaluation for the moving player, and a perfect move in a position would be a transition between positions that are equally evaluated. As an example, a perfect player in a drawn position would always get a draw or win, never a loss. 
If there are multiple options with the same outcome, perfect play is sometimes considered the fastest method leading to a good result, or the slowest method leading to a bad result. Perfect play can be generalized to non-perfect information games, as the strategy that would guarantee the highest minimal expected outcome regardless of the strategy of the opponent. As an example, the perfect strategy for rock-paper-scissors would be to randomly choose each of the options with equal one -third probability. The disadvantage in this example is that this strategy will never exploit non-optimal strategies of the opponent, so the expected outcome of this strategy versus any strategy will always be equal to the minimal expected outcome. Although the optimal strategy of a game may not yet be known, a game-playing computer might still benefit from solutions of the game from certain endgame positions in the form of endgame tablebases, which will allow it to play perfectly after some point in the game. Computer chess programs are well known for doing this. Topic. Solved games Awari a game of the Mancala family. The variant of Awari allowing game ending, Grand Slams, was strongly solved by Henri Bal and John Romain at the Vrije Universiteit in Amsterdam, Netherlands 2002. Either player can force the game into a draw, chopsticks. The second player can always force a win, connect four. Solved first by James D. Allen on October 1, 1988 and independently by Victor Alice on October 16, 1988. The first player can force a win. Strongly solved by John Tromp's 8-ply database February 4, 1995. Weekly solved for all board sizes where width plus height is at most 15 as well as 8 times 8 in late 2015 February 18, 2006, English drafts checkers. This 8 times 8 variant of drafts was weekly solved on April 29, 2007 by the team of Jonathan Sheffer. From the standard starting position, both players can guarantee a draw with perfect play. Checkers is the largest game that has been solved to date, with a search space of 5 times 1020. The number of calculations involved was 1014, which were done over a period of 18 years. The process involved from 200 desktop computers at its peak down to around 50. Fanarona Weekly solved by Martin Shad. The game is a draw, free Gomoku. Solved by Victor Alice 1993. The first player can force a win without opening rules, Ghost. Solved by Alan Frank using the official Scrabble Player's Dictionary in 1987, Guess Who? Strongly solved by Mihai Nika in 2016. The first player has a 63% chance of winning under optimal play by both sides. Hex A strategy stealing argument as used by John Nash shows that all square board sizes cannot be lost by the first player. Combined with a proof of the impossibility of a draw, this shows that the game is ultra weak solved as a first player win. Strongly solved by several computers for board sizes up to 6 times 6. Jing Yang has demonstrated a winning strategy weak solution for board sizes 7 times 7, 8 times 8 and 9 times 9. A winning strategy for hex with swapping is known for the 7 times 7 board. Strongly solving hex on an n times n board is unlikely as the problem has been shown to be PSPACE complete. If hex is played on an n times n plus 1 board then the player who has the shorter distance to connect can always win by a simple pairing strategy, even with the disadvantage of playing second. A weak solution is known for all opening moves on the 8 times 8 board, hex upon 3 times 3 variant solved as a win for black, several other larger variants also solved, Kala most variants solved by Jeffrey Irving, Jeroen Donkers and Josh Uiterveik 2000 except Kala 6 The 6 variant was solved by Anders Karstensen 2011. Strong first player advantage was proven in most cases. Mark Rawlings, of Gaithersburg, MD, has quantified the magnitude of the first player win in the 6 variant 2015. After creation of 39 gigabytes of endgame databases, searches totaling 106 days of CPU time and over 55 trillion nodes, it was proven that, with perfect play, the first player wins by two. Note that all these results refer to the empty pit capture variant and therefore are of very limited interest for the standard game. Analysis of the standard rule game has now been posted for Kala 6, 4, which is a win by 8 for the first player, and Kala 6, 5, which is a win by 10 for the first player. 
Analysis of Kala with the standard rules is ongoing, however, it has been proven that it is a win by at least four for the first player, L game. Easily solvable. Either player can force the game into a draw, losing chess. Weakly solved as a win for white beginning with one. E3, Maharaja and the Sepoys. This asymmetrical game is a win for the Sepoys player with correct play. Nim Strongly solved, nine men's Morris. Solved by Ralph Gasser, 1993. Either player can force the game into a draw. Order and chaos. Order, first player, wins. Ovalu. Weakly solved by humans, but proven by computers. Dacon is, however, not identical to Ovalu, the game which actually had been observed by Davout Panky. Strongly solved by Jason Doucette, 2001. The game is a draw. There are only two unique first moves if you discard mirrored positions. One forces the draw, and the other gives the opponent a forced win in 15. Pentago Strongly solved. The first player wins. Pentominoes Weakly solved by H.K. Orman. It is a win for the first player. Quarto Solved by Luke Goosens 1998. Two perfect players will always draw. Cubic Weakly solved by Oren Potashnik 1980, and Victor Alice. The first player wins. Renju-like game without opening rules involved. Claimed to be solved by Janos Wagner and Istvan Vorig 2001. A first player win. Sim. Weakly solved. Win for the second player. Tico. Solved by Guy Steele 1998. Depending on the variant either a first player win or a draw. Three men's Morris. Trivially solvable. Either player can force the game into a draw. Three Musketeers Strongly solved by Johannes Lair in 2009, and weakly solved by Ali Alabridi in 2017. It is a win for the blue pieces Cardinal Richelieu's men, or, the enemy, tic-tac-toe Trivially strongly solvable because of the small game tree. The game is a draw if no mistakes are made, with no mistake possible on the opening move. Tigers and Goats Weakly solved by Yu Jin Lim 2007. The game is a draw. Topic: Partially solved games. Chess. Fully solving chess remains elusive, and it is speculated that the complexity of the game may preclude it ever being solved. Through retrograde computer analysis, endgame tablebases strong solutions have been found for all three to seven piece, and some eight piece endgames, counting the two kings as pieces. Some variants of chess on a smaller board with reduced numbers of pieces have been solved. Some other popular variants have also been solved, for example a weak solution to Maharaja and the Sepoys is an easily memorable series of moves that guarantees victory to the Sepoys. Player, go. The 5x5 five five board was weakly solved for all opening moves in 2002. The 7x7 seven seven board was weakly solved in 2015. Humans usually play on a 19x19 19 19 board which is over 145 orders of magnitude more complex than 7x7. Seven seven. International drafts all endgame positions with 2 through 7 pieces were solved, as well as positions with 4 times 4 and 5 times 3 pieces where each side had 1 king or fewer, positions with 5 men versus 4 men, positions with 5 men versus 3 men and 1 king, and positions with 4 men and 1 king versus 4 men. The endgame positions were solved in 2007 by Ed Gilbert of the United States. Computer analysis showed that it was highly likely to end in a draw if both players played perfectly. M. N. K. Game. It is trivial to show that the second player can never win. See strategy stealing argument. Almost all cases have been solved weakly for K4. Some results are known for K equals 5. The games are drawn for K8. Reversi Othello. Weakly solved on a 4 times 4 and 6 times 6 board as a second player win in July 1993 by Joel Feinstein. On an 8 times 8 board, the standard one, it is mathematically unsolved, though computer analysis shows a likely draw. No strongly supposed estimates other than increased chances for the starting player black on 10 times 10 and greater boards exist. Topic: See also Computer chess Computer go Computer Othello Game complexity 
God's algorithm Zermelo's theorem game theory <laughs>